guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana and thanks for taking the time to click on this video. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you want to see more that I post. I post every Monday and also give it a big thumbs up. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my blue hair. And this is like so exciting for me because I've been wanting colored hair for such a long time. And I briefly mentioned this in my book review video, um, but I thought it'd be better to make like a full length video talking about my hair. So I got my hair dyed only a couple days ago when this video was posted. And it's like a very dark kind of like navy blue. And at first I didn't want to go this dark with my hair because I didn't really know if it would suit me. And I've always had blonde hair my whole life because my natural hair is like a dark blonde and then I've had it like bleached like a lighter blonde for the past maybe so it was definitely kind of like wanting to go a crazy color but I didn't know what to do and I've been wanting to do blue I saw some photos on Pinterest of like blue because I was tossing up between going with blue or purple but in the end I decided to do blue because I have done purple like temporarily where it's just been like a one that you do at home and it kind of washes out but I decided to go to the hairdresser and let them do it because obviously I'm not very good with um, hair and I don't want to wreck my hair. <laughs> so yeah, I went to the hairdresser. Um, I have a really nice hairdresser. Her name's Amy and she's amazing. So yeah, I got it done and I decided to go to this blue color. I think the name of the dye was called Cobalt Blue. So it's pretty intense. Um, yeah, I'm going to post and some more photos on my social media and Twitter. So if you want to go check, check that out, out, click on just because... Um, I'm not sure if you can really see the color that well, but it is like a very dark, like I would call it navy blue. And she said that the reason why I should go darker was because that these colors are like considered fashion colors. So they do fade out a lot quicker than what normal kind of hair dye would. So yeah, I was so excited to get this done. I've been wanting to do this since I was like 14 and I'm 18 now, like almost 19. Um, so yeah, it was really cool to get this finally done. And um, I didn't know whether it was going to suit me because I've never had dark hair before, but I just wanted to take the plunge and do it. Like, a lot of people are like, oh wow, you're getting to do it, but I've just been wanting to do something like this for so long. So I finally was able to do it, and I think it turned out so good. Like, I am so, so impressed. My hair was actually, my hair is naturally curly, but um, they straightened and curled it, but my hair is too much. much. And I just wanted to say that if you want to dye your hair a color like this, you need to start with a very, very light base. So I had blonde foils put in my hair like quite a few months ago and they'd grown out probably to about like here. So all of this was like a very dark um, blonde, kind of like dirty brown kind of color. Um, so they actually just put the blue and the rest of my hair was still blonde, like very bleached blonde. So they pretty much just put the blue color over my whole head. Um, but they did have to do my roots twice just because it was my natural. It wasn't um, going very dark. So they had to do it twice. So it did take probably like four hours to do my hair in total just because they had to do it twice, which meant washing the color out twice and doing all that. Um, so yeah. I think it goes really well with my skin tone and it makes my eyes look a lot more green as well because I do have hazel eyes so I think it does suit me. It was just very different because I've never had dark hair. Um, and I'm just trying to think of something else that my hairdresser told me. Oh yeah and the other thing is like if you're going to use heat, um, always use heat protecting spray. You really should anyway but especially when your hair is dyed to use heat protecting spray. Um, and also just to use like good quality products, which I already do. Um, and like not using um, heat on it like every day, which I definitely don't. I only wash my hair maybe once a week. So I diffuse my hair because it's curly. But yeah, I'll say if you want to do like a color like this, um, it's actually a lot cheaper. Like this only cost about a bit over $100. And um, it would have cost even less if I hadn't got it like straightened and styled. And this is just because it's just putting one color over your hair. They're not taking the time to do foils. I've gotten foils the last year and it's cost like a lot more because foils do take a lot more time and have to be a lot more accurate whereas obviously doing one color on your hair is a lot easier and less time consuming. So I would say like if you want a cheaper option definitely you, like these colors um, are a great way to like experiment with your hair and if you really didn't like it you can get the color stripped out if you really wanted to. You can do so many different colors nowadays and they have quite good quality dyes now so colors will last a lot longer than what they may have a few years ago um and i'll just say like it's really important to be very clear with the hairdress on what color you want because like if you go to your hairdress and say i want pink there are a lot of different shades of pink same with blue 
So it's very good to have like maybe take a picture with you. I took a picture. Um, the picture I took was a lot lighter than this, but we talked about it and my hairdresser said to me like, do you want to do it a bit darker? That way then you'll have more wear out of it and you don't have to go back as much to get it redone. Um, but this was so easy. Like they just put the dye on my hair and it was it. It wasn't like sitting there when you have to get a whole head of foils done, you know, and it takes a lot longer. So, and it was actually a lot cheaper as well. So if you can't afford to get, like, pay a lot of money, this is a great option. And you don't have to get, like, blue or pink or purple. You can get your hair dyed, like, any color, you know. But I just wanted to do, like, a really fun color because I thought it would be cool and it's something different. And I just thought going into 2019, it's going to be, like, a new year. And I wanted, like, a new hairstyle, you know. So if you guys have ever dyed your hair any other crazy color, I would love for you to send me a picture, like even um to my email, even just like put it um, even just comment down below like what color you dyed it. Um, I watched so many hair videos on YouTube, um, and I was like trying to decide like what I wanted, but in the end I chose this, and I'm so so happy with it. Um, I'm gonna put my social media links down below so you can actually have a look at my hair. Um, and I am kind of growing my hair a bit out at the moment. I had it quite short at the beginning of the year, but I decided just to probably keep it at this length at the moment. It looks very different because it's straightened. Usually I never straighten my hair. So it was a very nice change, um, and everyone really likes it. Um, my mom was a bit hesitant at first, but then she saw it, she was like, oh, it looks amazing, and it really suits you. And my hair actually feels so nice because I didn't have to bleach it. Like, usually when I get foils, I'm putting bleach on my hair. And although I do take really good care of my hair, you know, damage is going to happen just because it's bleach. But this is great because I didn't have to bleach my hair at all. Um, so even if you have like a pretty dark, that is a good thing about blue. If you have dark hair naturally, they can probably still put the color over your natural hair. You just may not get um, such a like intense color because obviously all this part of the, the bottom of my hair is a lot darker because this is the blonde. And obviously the lighter your hair, the more pigment and color is going to go into it. But I would say if you have dark hair, this would work as well. And it's pretty, like, cost, cost like, money-wise, it's pretty cheap, in my opinion, for, like, hair. And I got this done professionally. Um, and I'm not going to go back until it starts to fade a lot or I get a lot of regrowth. So I'll update you guys on how, like, long I can have this vibrancy because I haven't washed it yet, like, since I got it done. But, yeah, i really love for you guys to comment, like, if you've had any type of colored hair and, like, your experience with it. If you like this blue, if you think it suits me, I love it. And I really thank you guys for watching this video. So, I didn't really say much about it. Um, I'm kind of just making all the points that I suppose everybody else makes about using heat protecting stuff and getting regular haircuts. And, you know, all those things will help your hair stay healthy. But if you have any other questions about my hair, definitely comment it down below or hit me up on my social media. You can always send me a DM and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you guys for watching. Give it a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button. See you next time, guys.